Today in the kitchen, we are making kind of a modified marinara sauce. So I've heated up a pan. You can see when it starts to dance like that, we're ready to roll. And I'm gonna add some onions. Anytime you can add color into your food, you're adding phytonutrients. And you can hear that sizzling. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And what you're doing right now is a process called caramelization. And it's gonna soften up the onions and start to turn them brown from the sugar that's in there. But the trick is to keep moving them around and you can see they're starting to get brown very quickly. But keep moving them around. I'm gonna add some garlic in and boy, when that garlic's in there, mmm, just adds a nice flavor. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, just to help pick up that caramelization. Ooh. I'm gonna add a little bit of celery to this, which gives it a nice salty flavor. So this is Pommy strained tomatoes, and that's all this is, is just strained tomatoes. And I'm making a little bit extra tonight, so I had another box that I wanted to use up. So this is the 13 ounce, and the other one was 26 ounce. This just makes a nice base for a red sauce. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to this. I'm gonna add some zucchini. Zucchini is rather large. I had a couple small ones I needed to use up. The zucchini are large chunks which have a lot of water in them, which makes them very low calorically dense. So a good choice. And these will cook down into much smaller pieces. And then I've added some bell peppers and look at the phytonutrients here that we're getting, all these different colors from red to greens to yellows to oranges, just everything in between. The more phytonutrients that you can get into your body, your body will thank you and use them up. So I'm gonna add some tomato paste. This tomato paste is the Bio Natura. What I like about it, first of all, it's in a glass jar, so it's not a can, which is, this is kind of acidic, so it's eating out the can itself because the acid can't dissolve the glass and there's no salt added. So for those of us who are salt sensitive, this is a win. So I just took that and mixed it into a jar with some water just to make it into a liquid because it's kind of a paste and that kind of thickens up our sauce. Next, I'm gonna add some bay leaves, which as it simmers, we're gonna add some flavor. You always wanna make sure you take those out before you serve. Next, I'm gonna add some pepper. And that is just some organic ground up pepper that I put in. Next, I'm gonna add some Italian seasonings. And you can see how precise I'm measuring. I just kind of coat the top. This is kind of an optional one. This is called Bear Bear. This is an Ethiopian spice and just really adds a nice flavor and a kick to it. So you kind of want to be careful when you're adding this because, you know, you need to judge your heat limit. And that's kind of it. I'm going to let this, I'm going to stir this up. Just keep this on low and just simmer for a bit. And then you can serve this over pasta or grains or rice or a potato, anything. It just makes a good all around sauce. All right, so that's what's in the kitchen today.